prove that the Quran is from God. Sorry, my voice is not good. What is the strongest proof Muslims have? This is the question the Muslims they post in the internet and they have many articles about it and videos. Each one of them is good enough to make any fool believe in Islam. But again, those things work with the fools. But as you know, today we are in the earth which is full of fools. You know, if I say maybe 80% of the population of this earth is a bunch of fools. I'm not exaggerating. You know, we are in a time where uh, nobody wanna really study, nobody wanna search. Uh, everybody is uh, politically correct. Uh, everybody is fake. And nobody even dare to say things he believe in. You know, they just say what, what the community like to say. You know, you have to say what they like you to say. You can even speak your mind about a virus or a disease or, you know, you don't dare because they will mute you, they will silence you. You can't say in what you believe, you can't say uh, uh, your own opinion. You have to say their own, their opinion. And, you know, it's like a cattle. Human today, they are like cattle, a bunch of goats. But for sure, not everybody is the same. There is always brave people who can, they are willing to say the truth. And that's what we do here. My Skype is open and I have an open challenge for every Mohammedan in this earth. To show me one proof or any proof that the Quran is from God. You see, I believe that the Quran is from Allah. There's no question about that. I mean, Allah has many names. Muhammad, Satan, Devil, you know. I saw a video <clears throat> made by Muhammadan. And actually the title is the strongest you know proof that uh, the quran is from allah and the funny is in the video the guy he says well the shaitan uh, the quran attacking the shaitan you know the shaitan will deceive you the shaitan will lie to you uh, the shaitan will uh, you know like as an example here uh, chapter of, uh, 4 verse 119 Look what the shaitan will do. So the, if the Quran is written by shaitan, you know, how Allah says Allah cursed the shaitan. How Allah, he says, shaitan will mislead you. Uh, Etc. So this is the strongest proof. But all of us, we knew, if we go in the Bible, and this, you do not even need to go to the Bible, but, you know, just to confirm as a, for us as a Christian, but for you, maybe you are an atheist or a Hindu or a Buddha, you know that there's all liars who they want to deceive you. They will not tell you we are deceiving you. If somebody want to take your bank account, he will not tell you I'm going to do so. If somebody want to jump in your house, steal your, your wife jewelry, he will not give you a phone call that says I'm coming to take your wife uh, jewelry. If somebody want to rape your daughter, he will not give her a warning in advance so she will not leave at night from her house. All liars, they are the same, and all of them, they cover themselves. And usually, they play angels. In Matthew 7.15, it says, Be aware of false prophet, which come to you in a sheep clothing, but for sure they are wolves. Muhammad, in the beginning, he was coming in a sheep clothing, so he said, Christian, Jews, Sabi, and everybody go to heaven. Everybody. As soon as he got his own army, suddenly everybody have to die. But still, this is not really a proof that Muhammad is a wolf in a sheep clothing. Now, the Muslim, they, in their video, they say the Prophet, he did marry a child. This is what the Christian, they say. And they say at that time, this is was very normal. I don't know which, which time is that, but... If you are comparing your prophet to perverted people, that is a good thing to do. The question is why somebody in the age of 54, he is interested in someone she is not even six years old age. What he found in her. But still, this one is not really a proof that the Quran is not from Allah because maybe Muhammad is a filthy person, but Allah is a good person. Still, that will not prove anything. 
But if we go back to the verse the Muslim they use, that shaitan, he will deceive you, we will find that the Quran, the same Quran, saying the same thing about Allah. Let me show you this verse. Chapter 6, verse number 43. The shaitan, he made fair seeming to them that which they used to do. If we change the translation here, the word fair seeming is really weird. I mean, uh, let us use different donkey. Yesterday we have a new Quran, it's called the clear Quran, which is more stupid than the one is not clear. And after we read the clear Quran, we find that the Quran, the guy who, uh, AJ, yesterday he called us two days ago, uh, he asked me to read the, the clear Quran, if you remember. And then in the clear Quran, he agreed that the Quran have contradictions. Correct? Yeah. It's recorded it's in the previous video. But anyway, who watch? Nobody watch. When uh, here it says, uh, same, it looks like those people, they, they are copying from each other. And Satan made their sinful act seem alluring to them. Hmm, okay. So what the verse saying, that Shaitan, he make their sin sound nice. So Shaitan will make you believe that sin is nice. Okay, it has opened the Quran. Actually, you know what? I'm going to copy the same, the same word. Look at this, just to show you. Hmm? I will copy it. We will open the Quran. And I will search here in the front of you. And then we will find it's taking a while for to come okay verse number 643 it says that shaitan he decorated for them their sin to make it look nice uh, chapter 16 verse number 63 saying the same that shaitan decorate for you things to make you you know believe in it okay uh, chapter 27 verse number 4 it turned that the one who deceive you and make you believe that sin is good is Allah. Read with me. Chapter, again, 27, verse number 4. Verily those who believe not, in the hereafter, we have made, we have made their deed fair seeming to them. <laughs> Do you see it? It's exactly the same translation the Muslim they use in the other verse, fair seeming. So shaitan he make your act when you are sinner fair seeming. Allah he make your act fair seeming. Do you see it? Muhammadan, do you see it? Allah. I, I, will, I will try to use the same transla translation. This is, this is uh, Hilali and Khan. So I will go to the previous uh, uh, verse. Okay, and I will show the translator, the same translator. So most of them will not say, um, you know. Okay, here we go. This is a chapter 6, verse number 43. Let us take a screenshot. And it, actually, let us make a mark first before we take a green screenshot. So Satan, he made their sin fair seeming to them. Okay, so we take screenshot now. And again, this is chapter 6, verse number 43. All right. And now we go to the other verse, which is about Allah. Allah do exactly the same. Allah make your sin fair seeming to you. Here we go. Let us open the screenshot and put it next to this one. And you will see in a second that Allah and Shaitan, they are the same. There's no different. Here we go. Both they will make sin fair seeming to you. Any Muslim have an objection? Any Muslim want to say I'm lying? 
Any Muslim will say it's not true. Let us move it, make the window bigger. Hmm? Fair seeming, fair seeming. Both they make your sin for you, fair seeming. Hello? Hello? This guy, he called me and he put me in hold. Actually, take a hike. Do we have any Muslim? Do you see how easy to prove that the shaitan is the same as Allah? Both of them, they make your bad deeds. The bad deeds here is your sin. Fair seeming to you. And the verse, the second, the, the, the verse in, in chapter 27, verse 4, it's even more evil. It says Allah will make you blind. So Allah will make you believe that your evil is a fair seeming. Shaitan will make you believe that your evil is a fair seeming. Any Muslim have an objection? Any Muslim want to say to me, you're lying? It doesn't say that, CP? Anyone? Do we have any Muhammadan? How this is can be a book of God? Shaitan and Allah, they are totally in agreement in making your sin fair seeming. Any Muhammadan? Any Muhammadan? How come both of them, they are in total agreement in the target, which is us doing bad things and committing sin? How come both of them, they make to us our sin for seeming? anyone yeah and this is the funny thing about Muslims they, they go and make video and say it doesn't say that CP you can open the interpretation I mean the verse is so clear you see the the stupid thing about this book the Muslim they can't understand the book of Allah and then you ask yourself if this book is written by God how come he cannot make it clear You know, it is possible that a book written by a human, it might be not clear because the writer is a human. He is limited in the way he can explain. Then the Muslim, they say to us, oh, you cannot understand the Quran by yourself. You have to read the interpretation. Then we go and read the interpretation. And then when we read it, they say to us, oh, this interpretation is made by a human. <laughs> so they could not understand the stupidity of their stupid God. And then they ask you to read the stupid uh, uh, scholar. And the second we start reading the scholar, they say the scholar is a human. We don't accept what the scholar is saying. We go only by the Quran because they don't like what he said. Deception is a way of life in this cult. Like yes, two days ago when we have this guy, AJ, first we showed him the verse here in the Quran. He said, no, I want it from the clear Quran. We show it from the clear Quran. Now he says, doesn't make sense. That translation doesn't make sense. Who, what's, my, what's my business? Sneaky little popcorn guy jumping. You know, when you make popcorn, you know, like they start jumping. This is what he was doing. He touched the pot and he jump and he touch and he jump and he, he's trying to escape. And then at the end, he agreed that the Quran is a book of contradiction. And then he went, as they told me in the chat, they told me he went to Ali to, to this Dawah the channel, the one, the ones who say that the word soul mean the male member. So from now on, I'm going to call the uh, Dawah channel the penis channel. 
they are the only one in the world who believe that the word solb mean the male member uh-huh their prophet says it's the backbone the quran translation is saying the backbone but in the dawah channel brother the word solb mean penis may allah penis you so all those kids They cannot refute a very simple thing. I mean, how come Allah and Shaitan they have the same target? Both of them they make our sin fair seeming to us. Who is the one who made those who believe not in hereafter make them believe that their deed is good? Allah, read it. Who is the one who do the same for humanity? Shaitan, read it. This is something written in the same book. Not in different book. This is not like uh, one verse written by a Christian prince, the other verse written by Muhammad. Those both are supposedly coming from one idiot. His name is Muhammad, which is not his real name, as we know. Now, uh, you know, I will give the Muslims a chance. And as you see, I have my Skype open. Then we go in the internet and we search for. Uh, The strongest proof. So I search in Prophet Google, peace upon him. What is the scientific proof that the Quran is the word of Allah? And here, you know, I find it very funny and very stupid to say scientific proof. You know, is it scientific? The Quran agreed that Jesus is son of Mary and she have no husband. Is that scientific? I mean, this is, you know... So you must believe in scientific or scientific. So, but but because this religion is a hypocrite religion and they are bankrupt, they are desperate. And this is why I put the picture of that guy Harun Yahya. He is the one behind scientific and science in the Quran. You know, the, this perverted man who have just belly dancers around him. He used to have a program and he received millions of dollars donations from Muhammad and around the world. He is the first one who came with scientific. Uh, uh, you know, scientific proof. So, what is scientific proof of the Quran? Is the word of Allah. Sayyid Yazidi said, oh, there is several, okay, reasons that the Holy Quran is the word of God. Okay, let us see. Let me say two of them. Thank you. Just two. He will not, he will not like, just two. Miraculous aspect of the Quran showing that the book, this book, receive by uh, uh, received from God to explain more I should say Muslim believe that the Quran is a timelines miracle various features or future feature, futures such as the terms of its words it terms it terms in terms of content and in terms of bringer I don't know what does that mean anyone understand Let's go. also we can count the scientific miracle as one of them for an example, paying attention to the first verse, chapter 75, make you make us realize that the fingertips were mentioned 14 centuries ago. What? what? Before the, I think you want to say the fingerprint. You want to say the fingerprint not fingertips but by mistake he said the truth <laughs> he wanted to say fingerprint because if we go now we search fingerprint in the Quran we will find it says that the, the verse says that Allah he predicted the fingerprint and he speak about fingerprint but he by mistake he said the truth it says fingertips so what fingertips had to do with the, with the fingerprint and not only that, actually, the fingertips here, it doesn't even, uh, not even close to the word in, in the Quran. It says that Allah will put the bones together. Not even, there is no skin. If we go to the verse, we will see. Okay. We are typing in English again. Uh <sighs>
fingertips, huh? Yeah. Fingertips. And fingerprint. Let us go to the fingertips. Did he say, hold on, what, what verse he said? He said, fourth verse of chapter 75. Fourth verse, chapter 75, okay. 75. Yeah, this is the correct one. Where is, where is the fingerprint here? Anyone can tell me? Who can show me the fingerprint here? Allah is saying, we are going, are we going to assemble the bones? Read it. You see, the Muslims, what they do, because they are followers of a liar, they don't mention to you the verse before it, because the verse after it, it might confuse you. Allah is speaking about, he will assemble the bones. The, the bones of what? Even his finger, even his finger bones, we are going to assemble them. That's all. There's no fingerprint. There is no finger potato. There is no finger potato, tomato. So do you see how, how, how they lie? If I type right now, let us do this. Hold on. Give me a second. Quran fingerprint. Chapter 75, verse number 3 and 4. The unbelievers ask that how will Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be able to reassemble our bones? Allah says, we can not only reassemble the bones, we can even reconstruct in perfect order the very fingertips. When the unbelievers say, after we are buried, after our bones have got disintegrated, how will Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the day of judgment reassemble our bones? So Allah says, he will not only be able to reassemble the bones, he can even reconstruct your very fingertip in perfect order. It's referring to the fingerprinting method, which was discovered by Sir Francis Gold. This is referring to the fingerprint, guys. Anybody can help me how in the world this is referred for the fingerprint? Allah will assemble the bones of the finger, and that is referring to the fingerprint. I mean, the guy, he just said the bones. He himself, he just said, will assemble the bones. Do you see how desperate it is? And the stupid who is saying Islam and Christianity is bad. Well, if not a Christianity, you, you coward, you will not have a human right. If not a Christianity, you will not be exist. If not a Christianity, you will be a slave of Muhammad. We are the one who stop them, and we are the one who defend you, and now we are the one who give you right to be even an atheist. Coward son of Muta. If not a Christianity, Muslims will be slaving you right now. This is the truth. And this is why atheists and Muslims are in bed together. Because both they hate the truth. Who is the one who banned my videos on YouTube? YouTube. Who owns YouTube? We know. Who is the one who blocked my page in Facebook? Facebook. Who owns Facebook? We know. Who is the one who stopped my tweet in Twitter? Twitter. Who owns Twitter? We know. But they will never stop a Muslim. You both, you worship one Satan. In TV, they say, the atheist, that they support gays and lesbians. But when it's come to support, really, they support the devil Muhammad. The most hypocrite people is the one who call themselves atheist. And you are no better than them. Liar to your bones. So you see here an example of the lying. Even if you open the interpretation for their own books, it says it clearly, Allah will put the bones together. 
and he himself he said the word bones so all in the world the word bones became fingerprint can't Allah change the word and say fingerprint why Allah did not say the word fingerprint cowards liars desperate bankrupt give us another reason Actually, if you want me to open the interpretation, by the way, I can open it for you. That's very easy. We can do it. Just to show you, this is not our statement. Because maybe it means what he's saying. Maybe. Let us see. Maybe. You know. Maybe this Christian prince, he don't want you to see the truth. Maybe. But is it really what they're saying? They are a bunch of liars. And here you notice that the one who lie about his God words, he must be following Satan. Assemble them. Okay, they say, yes, indeed, we shall assemble them. We are able to addition to assemble them. Okay, reshape them. Okay, finger, blah, 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 restore the, their bones. Just they had been despite their smallest. So what the Quran is saying, that Allah will assemble the bones of a human being, even the smallest. You know, people, they see that bodies. Muhammad especially is a killer. He's a butcher. So even the small bones of the finger, Allah will put them together. That's all. There's no fingerprint. There's no potato. There's no science. None. None. Let us see maybe second proof. Until now, we don't see any Muslim there to call. Be my witness. Then he says, at the time of the advent of the Prophet Muhammad, Arab people were stepped in adultery. Well, you Muslims, you kiss black stone and you go around the stone and you, you pray in the direction of a stone. And you, even when you go to shaitan, you throw a stone. The biggest sheikh of the Muslims today is a, is a terrorist. Al-Qaradawi, he says, Islam is a religion of a stone. We go, we pray to stone, we go around a stone, we kiss a stone, and we throw a stone. Take it or leave it. And this is one of the funny things about Muhammad, and they claim that they are not pagan. So if you are not pagan, why you kiss a stone? They say to you, don't you kiss your mother? Why the stone is your mother? Did the stone give birth to you? Ah, I forgot the stone is a, is a, is a vagina. Is the God of fertility. I heard from Muslims all kind of funny answers about why they kiss the stone. If you remember, even we have once live chat, I recorded, and we posted in YouTube. And we did it here live. We asked the Muslim website, supposedly those people, they help you to convert to Islam. I said, I have a question. Why you Muslim kiss the black stone? He says, because it's holy. I said, why it's holy? They said, because the Prophet kiss it. I, why? I said, why the Prophet kiss it? They said, because it's holy. They don't know even why they are kissing it. So why the stone is holy? Because the prophet kissed it. And why the prophet kissed it? Because it's holy. So which one comes first? The chicken or the egg?